Welcome back everybody, Wildwing94 here, episode 3 for Sweet Transit. In our last episode, we've got our wood production set up here. We've got our laborers coming in from our city. We've got our wood then being shipped on into our warehouse over here. And our train is running out of coal though, so today we need to get our coal mine here tied back on in. Let's go ahead and bring this out. We get our coal mine tied in to our warehouse down here. That way we can A, get that wood train back up to speed so we need as much wood as possible coming in and B we're gonna need some uh, coal coming in and out Ooh, a little too far in order to keep making more trains as we continue to grow slide this on over and we'll delete control get that big delete going there we go just pop that train in and out we will do a quick tie in there that'll get our train onto our line good not too big of a gap Boom, good to go. And let's double check our other side. Good thing we checked. Get our signals. There we go. All right. Get our route set up. We're gonna go from our coal mine to our warehouse. Full cargo and an empty cargo for time past. Those are looking good. Let's get our name down. It's coal mine one, and that is going to the warehouse. I want to try to get this as dark as possible. That's as white as blue. There we go. I believe that is legitimately just black. I am not the uh, not the person to come to when it comes to that uh, that color wheel. So again, we're going to be back and forth on this line for the time being to start out with, and coal mine one to warehouse. That'll get our line started. And boom. What's wrong with our train here? Cannot reach its destination. Ah. There we go. It's probably gonna have to wait for our train to come through anyways. Let's speed this up, get things going. We want to get our wood production up to date anyways so we can expand our city we don't want that train crossing tracks good we can see our coal has gone up our wood wood's looking low so we have the we have the means Oops, let's stop that train real quick we're only using about half so we're gonna go ahead and smack another sawmill down here I like to do this your little trees have to be touching in order for it to uh, be considered part of that and we're gonna go ahead and fill this in with that bit good got a bit to go here 
see how close we can get. So we'll leave that for our little wood shed. We'll just come up here and fill that last little bit in. That symmetry is going to bug me. I'm sure it will bug some of you. So now we've got two down here and our people we know we're short on. But now we've got... Slow this down just a bit. We've got some wood coming in, right? That green bar is filled up. We've got a lot of wood. So we're going to go ahead and expand our city out some. I like to try to keep a kind of a fatter base towards this station here to start off with. Kind of work our way up from there. So this is going to be the, the portion that the station can reach off the git. Just kind of get a good good chunk of houses in here. So we want we want this number to be about a third of what this is. So we're close-ish. Right? Check and make sure this train is doing what it should. It should drop off coal first. Nice. And then once it loops back around, it should do the people part. So it looks like it's doing it's doing good. We don't have any fuel storage here. Let's go ahead and do some of that. So now we got a couple trains coming in here that are going to need fuel, right? This guy's going to be in here, and we're going to have some other other trains here sooner than later. Our workforce is holding. Should have 80 people load up in here. Before it leaves, just want to make sure we don't want our wood production to... Uh, tank, you know? So right now, production is not looking good. Don't have enough people. We will not produce as much wood. How about you? Nice. And I think, for the time being, we're going to edit this route. So, Cargo at 0% or 20 seconds. We're going to switch this to AND. And in doing AND, this train's not going to leave until both of those requirements are met. So cargo has to be at 0% and 20 seconds have to have passed. So this won't leave the station until the cargo is completely empty. So we won't have the train coming back with wood on it. So it's going to sit here until completely gone, which we don't have enough capacity on the train to fill up our storage. So that shouldn't be an issue, but could be in the future. All right. Populations with laborers. Potato farm. Here we come. All right, so let's, let's try to be a little thought forward. So we're going to need a good amount of potatoes. I'm thinking maybe right in here. It's going to be too small for a city. We're going to be kind of boxed in. We have one little just kind of in. Oop. For trains. A lot of taters off of it. We should be good. We can do another line. Coming off one way. Joop. We'll have to do a little, little junction here until we get a bridge. But with signals, we should be okay, and it's it's going to be a long enough back and forth. I 
think right here will be good. That way if we do build a city down here, we'll have some potatoes close. All right, so distribution center. We want to have you far enough away that you're not gonna have our potatoes be caught in the woods there. Just like before. Gonna make our little square. Seems to work the best from what uh, I've been able to put together. Throw a potato farm on here and we are waiting on wood. Bum bum bum. Let's speed this up. Get ready. Cool. And this is another farm that's 120. So these these first uh, couple, they're not too bad. Boom, 120, 120. And just like before, we're going to throw a station on here. going to name it for us. We're going to be ready to go. So we're going to throw a third line in here just to keep our rails clean. And down. But we're going to have to cross. Right? It'll be okay. For right now, it will be okay. And I think we just make this a circuit. We're not going to do a back and forth. We'll just in one, out one. Right? So we'll have it come down and we'll have it come up. And if we keep our line close together up here, crossing shouldn't be too disorganized. And back in. And we're going to run it this way. And then let's manage this. So we're not going to go that way. And you need to have chain in, right? So this route's going to be coming this way. So chain in and not out. That should be set. So now the train won't go into this intersection unless it's clear. And we'll be good. Because of our minimal amount of trains that are going to be running through there, we should have a minimal amount of traffic jams. We're going to have just one station for right now. We can easily split it off. Our uh, boxcar and our people car should be running pretty much opposite. So, shouldn't be a problem. And again, we're going to just do a little little offshoot there. Allow that train to come in here to get onto that other rail. And let's check how many people we have. Looks like we're getting low. Oh, it did it again.
I tell you. We're apparently going to have to be cautious. All right, so let's build a route. Time passed like we always do. And our people and one potato farm one and it's going to be workers boom and that's a loop should be good and we already have a train preset for this we do not let's make one good to go Train got away on us. Sneaky, sneaky. Let's clean up our track. And the addition of potatoes. See that train stopped and waited. The addition of potatoes is going to boost our population. Uh, so that's why I'm not too worried about adding too many more houses. Uh, we want to duplicate this route. Uh, so we're going to hold control and hit this plus. And then this is going to be taters being delivered. And I like food to be green. So we're going to do that. We're going to change this though. So this is going to unload and this is going to load. We're going to set these for empty cargo, full cargo. That one's good to go. We gotta make a train for this though. And this one does potatoes. So we're gonna load that up. Just like so. And we are gonna build. And I'm gonna come back in off camera and we'll, uh, we'll name all of those. There we go. Now the train is on the right track. And that one's going there, and that one's going there, and they, they should pace themselves out pretty well. Nobody's caught. It's a good episode for today, guys. We got our cold going to the warehouse. We got our potato farm set up. Our population should be taken off here as soon as we start getting those potatoes coming in. And next episode, we're going to be using that new population growth to our advantage. So make sure you're subscribed, hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.